Hey everybody, it's Jay Kitchen from jaysbeard.com. I hope you're doing really well tonight. We are doing a review of something that is really well reviewed on YouTube. A lot of people have tried this fragrance. I have been sort of aiming to try for it, but I just have not had a chance until recently I got a decant of this. What I'm talking about is Overture Man by Amouage. This is a really popular fragrance amongst frag heads, as we uh, sometimes refer to really hardcore people who are into fragrances or colognes, perfumes, that sort of thing, scents. Amouage, I have a real weakness for them. I really like their attar. Some of their attars, I, I really, their, their uh, Incense Rory and their uh, Oud Ulya, I love both of those. But they're super intense, and you can't really wear them in a closed space necessarily. You might get a headache or give someone else a headache. So, but I've heard a lot of really interesting things about this scent. So, um, uh, I got a decant from ScentSplit. Check out the bottle that it comes in. And in the meantime, please subscribe, smash that thumbs up button, and the notifications bell while you're at it. It's a pretty typical Amouage bottle, I must say. I sprayed this on about six hours ago, and it is still hanging out. It's not a skin scent. I mean, I didn't go crazy. I didn't super spray myself, but it's still strong. I mean, I'm about three inches from my arm where I sprayed it, and it's coming through loud and clear. Uh, I'm going to re-spritz myself because I can. Now, the main accords, according to Fragrantica, of this fragrance are warm and spicy, amber, woody, smoky, anomalic, balsamic, fresh, spicy, aromatic, and leather. It's kind of, it's a sort of a, it's a real, like, intoxicating sort of scent, but it's a bit spicy, it's a bit funky. The notes, uh, it's a really complicated formulation, or maybe not complicated, but crowded. So the top notes on this are cognac, cumin, cardamom, nutmeg, saffron, ginger, and grapefruit. The middle notes are myrrh, cinnamon, Labdanum, benzoin, mastic, patchouli, and geranium. And the base notes are animal notes, smoke, incense, leather, sandalwood, and clary sage. It's a lot of stuff going on in this scent. It's kind of crazy, you know? There's a lot of flowery stuff about the scent on the website. Some of the notes say, that the fragrance opens to bold cognac notes that are starkly contrasted by the citrusy, spicy, and aromatic freshness of grapefruit, saffron, cardamom, cumin, ginger, nutmeg, and saffron. So as I'm smelling this, I was really, to my mind's eye, I was smelling clove, but it's not clove, it's cumin. And cumin typically is used as a cooking spice. I'm used to having cumin with like lamb and Chinese or um, some Middle Eastern dishes. They'll use cumin with the lamb, but I'm more familiar with it in uh, Chinese cuisine. In any event, it's got a very, it's kind of sweet, but it's not a cloying sweetness. It's sort of a sweet edge to it. But it's smoky. It's incensey. It's really... At first, I really wasn't feeling it. I just didn't, it, it just wasn't, I, I, I was probably listening to the hype in the back of my head, you know, all the hubbub about the, the scent, uh, you know, all the people rapping about it and saying oh, what a good thing it is and it's so fucking amazing, blah de blah de blah de blah This is a very mature scent. This is something that someone my age, even 40s and up, could wear. It's a very sophisticated, it's really, there's a lot going on and most people wouldn't be able to pick it apart because I, I certainly can't. But you do, when you read the, the notes, I do pick up some cinnamon. Um, clearly, the cumin is present. There are incense notes, myrrh, 
I don't really smell frankincense per se, but it's definitely myrrh-y. I could see wearing this um, in the wintertime, not in the summertime. Particularly where I live in the Pacific Northwest, it's quite, quite nice. It's a little bit strong. I don't think it's going to alienate anybody, but it's, it's not going to be to everybody's liking. Put it that way. The price point on this for 100 mLs, the full retail price is around 380 bucks US dollars. So it is a lot of money. And I would not blind buy this unless you got more money than cents. But get a decant of it. Check it out. I mean, I just got a 2 mL decant. I'm really contemplating getting something a little more significant. Like I say, at first I didn't really like it, but it, it as it evolves and dries down, it really gets very smoky-ish. It's a lot of adjacent to a lot of things, right? There's nothing that's really super strong and, and to my nose, it's really coming out and saying, hey, I'm X, patchouli, oud, whatever it may be. It's just really, really nice. Very, I think it's masculine smelling. It does, you know, um, it, it does have sort of a sweaty kind of vibe to it. Some people, if you look in the comments, they describe it as smelling really sweaty and they're not feeling it. But the majority, if you go on to a place like Fragrantica, I mean, the reviews are very, very in-depth on this fragrance. You know, a lot of people wax extraordinarily poetic about this, which, you know, there's a hell of a lot of pretension in this hobby, if you haven't noticed already, okay? Um, and I'm kind of at the age where I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> if I don't like something or whatever, I'm just going to say it. I don't have time to spend writing a five-paragraph review of a fragrance, right? And that's someone's paying me. I mean, not to sound cold, but if you got the time, God bless you. I just don't. But having said that, that kind of bespeaks, you know, the admiration for the fragrance. And it is quite nice. It's really a very, this is something, a very elegant kind of scent. Kind of like some old creeds it reminds me of. It's really, really nice. I, I really, really like it. I would recommend if this is your thing, get a decant of it. Don't go out spending, you know, 380 bucks on this. I'm sure you can get it significantly discounted at Joma Shop or wherever. But um, it's really a very intriguing, very nice fragrance. Yeah. Something for a mature man, without a doubt. I hope you like the review. I like doing it because this fragrance is really hitting a home run for me. And you don't hear me say that very often. If you did like the video, leave comments down below. If you've tried this or any other Amouage, I'm, I'm coming to really love this brand. Not all their stuff, but some of their stuff is really... The only perfumes that I've spent money on myself this year are two Amouage Atars. So that bespeaks what I, what I think about the brand and some of their products. In any event, um, uh, thank you so much for coming through and hanging out with us for a little while while we did this. And uh, don't forget to stay lifted, stay well-groomed, stay smelling fucking awesome. And we will catch you on the next one. And please be kind. It doesn't cost us anything, and it really helps out. Cheers, everybody. We love you.